It's not about me beating Kai Green. It's not the Phil Heath Kai Green show. And it never really was. It's Phil Heath against the world. First of all, I don't really believe in a rivalry unless if people have gone back and forth winning and losing. Um, Arnold and Lou Ferrigno, I don't believe Arnold ever lost to Lou, so I don't really consider him as a rival, personally. But I do feel that he was the next guy in line. Yeah. Um, Arnold had definitely had to work hard to beat Lou. Um, obviously, in Papa and Iron, you know, there are some people that maybe looked at Lou a certain way and rooted for him because he's the underdog. No different than Kai Green and myself. Everybody wants to root for the underdog, and I totally understand it. I respect Kai Green's uh, work ethic. I respect his craft. Um, is our rivalry, so to speak, positive for the sport? It's a multi-level answer because yes, because it make, it draws people in. No, because of what we saw last year on stage and at press conferences. I think what we have to recognize is that there still needs to be a level of respect and um, accountability. And I think that's something that um, we didn't have to see with Arnold and Lou. Lou was kind of like just like accepting the fact that Arnold was better. Kai doesn't have to accept that I'm better. He doesn't have to accept it. The acceptance is when I'm doing the acceptance speech. That's the difference. So I just have to focus on that. But I, I think it's drawn a lot of interest in the sport, you know, having he and I on stage, and I can't wait to see him again. You know, it's, and that's the difference between me and a lot of the guys, probably how they would take it. I'm not afraid of anyone that competes against me. I expect him to be there. I prepared for, for myself to be the best on stage. I don't care if he's second place or third place. It doesn't really matter to me. That's for the fans, man. You know, that if they want that to go again, you know, round five. I mean, you guys don't really want to know my opinion about it because I'm going to say again, I'm going to win. You know, so I do think that he brings a high level of quality physique to the Olympia stage. I do know that he's an amazing poser. I do know that he's a two-time Arnold Classic champion, and he's won various other pro shows. I do also recognize that there's also a lot of other guys that are chipping at his heels, too. So it's not about me beating Kai Green. It's not the Phil Heath Kai Green show. And it never really was. It's Phil Heath against the world, if anything. I have to be the best in the world. I have to beat all of them. I didn't just beat Kai Green at the show. I beat Sean Roden, I beat Dennis Wolf, I beat Branch Warren, I beat all these guys. That's why it means so much to me, because I beat all of them. If it was just me and Kai on stage, I, I don't, you know, it'd be kind of a boring show. Because it'd just be a really quick call out and that's that. But you know, I, res I respect his work ethic. I think we've touched on that enough. But um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what he brings to the table this year. And I'm sure a lot of guys, you guys will be talking a lot of shit again, I already know. And that's cool, but I'm doing the Jordan Shrug for a reason. And it's because of the fact that over five years, I've been remained victorious since 2010, Mr. Olympia, um, placing second but higher than him. And if I was stupid, and if I was you know, people just by seeing this right now, they say, oh, he's being cocky. It's like, no, man, I'm just kind of telling you, like, if you put yourself in my shoes, if you beat me in a game of a chess, or you beat me in a video game, or you beat me in pool five years in a row, would you really think that you're going to lose? No, man, you're just not admitting it. Like, it's, it's really odd to me. Does he have a chance to win? Yes, he does. All of them do, if I don't do my job. Simple as that.